Hello, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Sastrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at Vareva.com. Today I'm going to show you pizza. This pizza is such an amazing thing. When bunch of guys get together to watch a sports channel, they want pizza. When bunch of ladies get together having a kiddie party, they want some quick bite, it's pizza. Ask a kid what they want, it's pizza. Making a pizza dough is more or less how you make your bread dough or even pretty much a naan dough. So what we are going to do, we are going to take some warm water. You know, around uh, 250 ml of water. Make sure that the water is warm, not hot. If you put yeast into hot water, the yeast will die. So in the warm water, at the same temperature where you set your yogurt, add one packet of yeast. This is around 7 grams of yeast. If you remember, I told you around 7 grams of yeast is good enough for 7 cups of flour. Add around a half a teaspoon of sugar and around 1 teaspoon of salt. And then add 1 cup of flour. Keep this aside for around 10 to 15 minutes. I will take around 5 cups of uh, flour. Okay. For every 1 cup of flour, add 1 teaspoon of olive oil. So I am going to add around 5 teaspoons of olive oil. I have this mixture kept aside for around 10 minutes. So I am going to add this mixture into this. And then mix this to make a nice dough. The dough has to be soft. Now the dough is all ready. We are going to add some oil on top, olive oil. Just make a nice coating. Here I have got a cloth which I dipped in little bit water and then squeezed out the water and I am going to use this to cover this dough. Keep this in a warm place, at the same place where you leave your yogurt to set. After one hour, because of the yeast, the dough will become twice the size originally you left it. When you let this dough rest, see the aeration is very uneven. The air bubbles, some places it's big, some places it's small. So what we are doing is punching and removing that air out. Now we removed all the air that is there inside and we are going to let it ferment for one more time. Okay. Now, to do that, we are going to do the same thing, we are going to cover it with a cloth and leave it in a warm place for another 30 minutes, then we are going to make our pizza. It has been 30 minutes that I have rest this dough, so you can see this dough, I've, I kept the dough here and uh, just put a lot of flour on your table and uh, just cut the size of the dough we need. So let's say I need uh, this much dough to make my pizza. What they do is when they flatten this uh, dough, they put all the required sauce and everything and they slide it onto a pizza stone that is preheating in the oven. Since we don't have a pizza stone, we need to modify to our requirements. So what I am doing, I have got a tawa here on which I make my chapati. This is a non-stick tawa. So I am going to use this as my pizza tray. I will also show you how we can get away without a pizza stone and still get better quality than the pizza you buy in the market. So I am just going to keep this dough here and then slowly spread this with my hand. Just flatten it a little bit. Okay, a lot of people love thin crust pizza. Whereas I like a little bit of a thick crust, I like a little bit soft pizza. Okay, now you can see I am spreading it evenly. Some people like it very thin and crispy, so I am going to show you both of them today. So now, isn't this very easy? So you are going to let it rest for another 5 minutes before you put the sauce and the toppings. Now uh, I have got some you know, homemade pizza sauce, we are going to spread this, Okay, just leave the edges and the rest of it spread nicely. I am going to put some jalapeno, spread them evenly, whatever ingredients you are going to put. Pineapple, capsicum, get some onion, ok, 
and spread the onions also evenly. I'm going to top it off with cheese and uh, make sure spread the cheese evenly. Cheese by mozzarella cheese, that is what is uh, good for your pizza. Last but not the least is just add a little bit of olive oil, just few circles. And now the last and most important thing is take a brush and just apply all olive oil on the edges of the pizza. Okay, so the crust comes very nice. If we are going to put this pizza in the oven, is it going to come out fine? A lot of people have tough times because sometimes the pizza dough underneath remains raw. And uh, that is why it is better to use a pizza stone. But we decided that we are not going to use pizza stone. So I'm going to show you how to do this alternative. I lit this flame, very slow flame. And then I'm putting this pan on top of the flame. So it cooks from the bottom. And I'm going to heat it up from the bottom so that the dough gets slightly cooked. Then I'm going to put this in the oven. See this pan is really hot. The bottom part started getting cooked. I'm going to put this in the oven at 450 to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Wow. My Italian friend, when he is to make pizza for Pizza Hut, he is to make it totally different. But when he is to make pizza for himself, he used to totally use a different recipe. His pizza was never round. It used to be square and then he used to put all kinds of vegetables and bake it really thin. His pizza was never thicker. It was like thin. So we are going to learn how we are going to make a thin pizza. Here I have got um, some more pizza dough. So I am going to put it on a tray, on a flat tray. See, the guy never cared about the shape of the pizza. You know, all he wanted was a thin pizza. So, just take this pizza dough and uh, make it very thin. If you want a thin pizza, spread it really thin. Take a fork, make a little bit holes. So, these holes will uh, prevent the aeration from happening too much. Spread this pizza sauce very little. Yesterday when I made she kebab, I kept a little bit of this chicken meat, which I'm going to use it into small dumplings and uh, put it on top of this. A little bit of onion, capsicum, and uh, slices of uh, tomato. So I'm going to put some cheese. And a little bit of olive oil. And the best way to know if the pizza is done is to see on top of the pizza if the color of the cheese is nice, golden color, that is the time when you need to remove your pizza out. Actually my round pizza, which is a soft, deep pizza, is ready. I'm going to pull that out. Oh, mama mia! You know, the pizza has come out. But think about it. When you order a pizza, by the time you get it home, it takes around at least 10 minutes. So, just let this pizza cool down for 10 minutes. After around 10 minutes, you know, we're going to pull the pizza out and then all you do is run your pizza cutter and if you don't have a pizza cutter like this, never mind. We can even use a simple knife. You have to see this crust to believe it. So beautiful. See the cheese on the top of the pizza holds the heat inside very well. So it takes really long time to cool down a pizza. Mmm. 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 Wow. Wow. Haha. <laughs> I want to show you the back side of the pizza. See how beautiful, well cooked it is. Now, look at this pizza. Look at this pizza. Wow. Now I have to end the show, go back home, watch a cricket match, and eat pizza. Okay? Wow, look at this. Man, I'm going to enjoy today. Wow. Kids, look at this pizza. Wow. <laughs> With this, I'm sure many of you will try to make this pizza at home. And I'm sure I will hear so many wow from many of you. With that, remember, whatever is all about inspiring others to cook. So, please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.